Hello and welcome back. My name is Travis Hemel. I'm a comic book artist and illustrator. And today I wanted to do a quick video about the Clip Studio Paint uh, Winter Update. Uh, it's coming uh, December 10th, 2020. Um, and I got this nice little email from Clip Studio. Um, you know, they, they send out uh, their users some updates in terms of what's coming out. And I wanted to do a video. I don't normally do a video about the updates because usually the updates are like bug fixes and whatnot. Uh, and today uh, they were actually unveiling three, kind of three different things that they were adding or fixing in Clip Studio. And one, they were adding some more brush settings, but the other two I think is more relevant. And the first one being uh, that you can do um, time-lapse features. So like, for instance, as you can see in this video, you can actually record a time lapse and share it to social media. And why that's pretty cool is that I personally would use this feature and share it to my social media platforms. I like showing off what I'm working on, if I'm working on a book or a sketch. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not a major thing that's going to change things for creators in terms of like an added, um, like an added bonus to creating your comic, but. It's a cool social feature uh, if you like to share out what you're working on. So, you know, this is not a new feature by any means for certain programs because there's a lot of time-lapse features for programs that you can get on, say, an iPad. But for Clip Studio Paint, which I primarily work in, um, this is great for me. Uh, especially a lot of users who do the desktop version. Um, and I'm assuming this uh, update will also work for iPad, the iPad version as well. So the other big uh, addition to this winter update that I'm pretty excited about is the Webtoons uh, formatting feature. So the Webtoons feature, it's a feature that allows you to format specifically for Webtoons. And if you're not familiar with Webtoon, is it's a site where um, digital comic book creators and web comic creators uh, can post their content and it's in a specific format. Uh, the popularity of this platform has skyrocketed, I want to say maybe in the last five, you know, four or five years, maybe. Um, but, you know, a lot of creators are getting interested in making webtoons. And so now you actually have uh, a built in templates. Uh, that are going to be coming into this next update um, that I'm pretty excited about. Um, we're going to play this video in just a second and we'll kind of like take a look at it. But uh, I should mention um, something else about this uh, before I go into detail. This is something that's going to be just for the EX and Pro versions, so the desktop versions. Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know if this is going to be coming to the iPad version or not, I'm not 100%. Um, you know, it might be something in another update, but right now it's just a desktop. So here's the video showing that you can actually just select a basic version. Um, this is going to be where you can even preview how you're supposed to look at it and how to export it. Uh, it's a very quick video. I'm when this when this comes out, I will definitely do a video and and kind of get that see if I can get the hang of it but you know just to go over these really quickly is that they're just, you know when you use this format you have specific dialogue boxes in settings just for webtoons um you know the, like for instance there's a story menu where you have uh basic workflow settings just for that uh, you also have an on-screen area. We can preview this and also Clip Studio Share, which I like this, which allows you to share to Webtoons your work files, um, you know, right from Clip Studio. Uh, I really like that. Uh, I think that's really convenient, especially for comic book creators and Webtoon uh, creators, you know, just to easily export that uh, to Webtoons. So I think that's great. Um, you know, I was thinking about there's there's been these videos about a month ago uh, coming out about Adobe Comic Splash and a lot of those outraged because they're you know touting as the professional comic book program. And just to summarize, they show just a lot of tools that uh, a real comic book pro wouldn't use, you know, or even like a, a web a web comic creator wouldn't use. 
And I really think with these added features, like Clip Studio Paint gets it. This is what a pro would use. Um, so if you're not using this or considering using it, definitely try it. You can even get a free trial. Um, I'll put a link to Clip Studio Paint's website. Um, but definitely check this out. Um, very excited for this update. Um, but I'm going to end the video right here. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you are not already, please uh, consider subscribing. Also, check out my uh, Etsy store. I have copies of Arcworld Volume 1. I should have Volume 2 up there pretty soon. Also, some sketches and stuff that I've done from some of the other videos uh, I have on my channel are up there. Uh, so thanks and see you on the next one.